Hey there and welcome back. Today I want to demonstrate how a keyboard can be separated and cleaned and I also want to explain how it works. In this particular keyboard the F key is not working as you can see now. When you tip the right side then no F is recognized. So before you go away because you think it's boring, listen to this. So there are three different sounds when you smash a keyboard and you can try out on your own but please smash the spacebar twice because otherwise you'll stop the video. To open the keyboard check under every sticker if there are screws hidden. Unfortunately I didn't find the screws at first place so I pried open the plastic that is glued together at the borders and then found the screws under the blue sticker and removed them. Then we need to remove the USB connection. After that we go on a painful time lapse because to remove the metal from the plastic you need to actually break the plastic because it's permanently put together. Now we need to reach the metal to clean it properly. So this is an insanity when it comes to repairability. Next we need to remove the black keys. To do so put a screwdriver at one side of the key and then pull it up and slightly in so that the key can snap away. Pay attention the big keys have a metal support which we will see in a bit. These are one of the reasons why the keyboard makes different sounds when you press certain keys. So now we see that for example the spacebar has metal support. Now if we remove the support you can see in the video that the complete key isn't pressed and that is the reason why the metal exists and that is also the reason why there are different sounds because when you smash it the metal hits the plastic and that makes a louder noise than only plastic against plastic. Now here we can see that genius and insanity is literally not far apart. Next we move on to a painful time lapse which includes a free finger clipping program because we need to remove the white plastic that supports the key and also create the resistance to remove the white plastic push from the right bottom to the top and then pull the right top up and when the right side is loose pull left to remove the complete white plastic. After we, we removed all of them we can remove the blue plastic layer. Here we can see that every black knob in its inside has another dot that creates pressure when the key is pressed. This is an important part to understand when we want to figure out how the keyboard works. Now we can see the white plastic layer which has wiring in it and we can remove it as well but pay attention it's glued in at the top. And here we see knobs that um, on the top has a metal dot and on the bottom you see the metal wiring. So when the plastic dot from the blue plastic layer creates the pressure, the bubble, the air bubble is pressed together and thus the metal circuit is closed because the top is pressed to the bottom. And this closing of the circuit is detectable as a key press. Now we can clean every single key, plastic, use air, and water to clean the metal board and then hopefully our key works fine again. So now that we've cleaned everything we can put everything together and this I promise is the last time lapse. Um, first you put together the two layers the white with the wiring and then the blue one but make sure that they align otherwise the keyboard won't work as we now understand how it is working. Then you need to put on the white plastic. This is simply done by um, 
clipping it in from the top. Then you can add the keys again, uh, just pressing again on the top to the bottom. But pay attention to the metal keys because you need to fiddle around so that uh, they fit in again. Then we can put the housing back together and use double side tape to make up for the glue we've removed earlier. Now we can see that the F works fine again. I hope you liked this repair tutorial video. Please subscribe and like. Stay curious and bye.